This is from uh, Angel or Angel. Um, hope I got the name right. Um, so I practice a simple 12 hour eating window and a 24 hour fast once a week. So it's intermittent fasting with a, with a 24 hour fast per week. My question is, are there any downsides to training fasted as I usually do? The exercises involved are heavy weight training and moderate cardio afterwards. Just wanted to know if I'm metabolically doing harm or having adverse effects of the intended goals. Thanks and love your work. Great question. Yeah. Um, there have been um, meta-analyses of studies done, so that just means there's lots of studies that have been uh, that have looked at, for example, doing physical activity, either aerobic or anaerobic activity in a fasted state versus pre-exercise feeding, so you, you eat before exercise. Um, and a meta-analysis just kind of aggregates all those studies that have been done and sure. looks at what the data says. And so um, meta-analysis that have been done um, on that topic have shown that pre-feeding before exercise improves, it seems to improve long duration aerobic exercise, so durations longer than 60 minutes. Got it. But it doesn't seem to really have much of an effect on performance if it's aerobic exercise less than um, 60 minutes. Okay. Um, on a similar note, it's also pre-feeding, you know, eating before you exercise has also been shown to improve anaerobic ex exercise, so like run till exhaustion but it doesn't really seem to have much of a significant effect on high intensity interval training. Um, so, so there is a little bit of a performance enhancement with eating before you work out in terms of um, long duration aerobic exercise. Triathletes, long, long distance running, right. things like that. Right, yeah. which actually makes sense. Um, but for weight training, sounds like if you're keeping it within 60 minutes, so, so um, even even less than yeah, even even running you know less than sixty minutes yeah. um, or a high intensity interval training yeah. class. But um, what's really interesting is those meta analysis showed that eating before you exercise. So if you if you fat if you're training fasted, you get really robust um, enhancements in glucose you know sensitivity, but really robust um, enhancements in your mitochondrial adaptations to using fatty acids. So you're basically, your mitochondria become really primed for mm -hmm. fatty acid use, which makes sense. If you're in a fasted state, right. you're gonna have, you know, you're depleting your glucose and you have more of these fatty acids that are available for energy. There's a lot of um, increased um, activity in genes that regulate fatty acid metabolism that's really expressed when you train in a fasted state. Interestingly, when you feed before you train, those adaptations are blunted. Hmm. With, with respect to the fatty acid right. um, uptake, metab uptake yeah. yeah, like the really priming your mitochondria to be like robust to use fatty acids as a source of energy. Um, you still get glucose, you know, effects and, and enhancements and stuff even when you're training, when you're, you know, eat something beforehand. Mm -hmm. But it seems as though those, those the fatty acid adaptations that the mitochondria um, shift to are, are blunted somewhat. So it Which sounds like for, for Angel, or Angel um, that, you know, if, if you're doing kind of a, a, a weight lifting with cardio, um, sh shouldn't be a dramatic effect. I will, I will add to that because I think even one of the previous questions you were asking, um, someone was asking about the amino acids, wanting the mm -hmm. amino acid uh, take Supplement, before they train. Yeah. Um, and they were wanting to like, for hyper, like hypertrophy, yep. you know, um, so basically wanting to grow more muscle. Um, I will say that there have been studies looking, there's been a lot of research that has been done looking at, you know, is there this anabolic window that you have to take in amino acids and protein to like, you know, increase muscle growth. Uh, and I, I think over the past few years, um, studies have, it's been pretty consensus that there's a lot longer time that you have. It used to be thought like there's this one hour window and you have to down this protein shake immediately right, right. or you're gonna miss it. Right. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think that there's been a lot of research that has come out showing that you actually can can take in amino acid or you know protein um, hours after a workout. Um, however, if you are doing, if you're going into your workout fasted, let's say you're, you've are you been fasting for 16 hours, yep. um, you don't, you aren't, you aren't storing protein. So at, in that case, if you are doing a fasted strength training workout, you may want to consume protein within an hour after that. Got it. Good, good if distinction. Yeah. If you're in a fasted if state. If you're in a fasted state, like a, okay. a pretty, a pretty fast. Well, I think that's state. a great, a great recap for, yeah. for, for Angel.